So does the lead arm actually rotate in the backswing? It's all about perspective. Let's go investigate what's really happening with the lead arm. So one of the things we have to talk about is perspective and the reality of what's actually go on, going on with arm rotation. Now, if I was the target and I'm looking back at my swing, or I'm you in that camera looking at my swing, what you're going to see, if you look at my lead arm position, during the swing, you're going to see that the arm rotates. So you're going to say, yes, you have, you have lead arm rotation. And you're going to see the club open up, right? You're going to say, oh, the club's opening up, right? Okay, makes sense. However, from the perspective of my body, so I'm looking from my body now at the club. Remember, my body is rotating, clearly rotating. Now, let me ask you this. Relative to my body, is my arm rotating? And the answer would be no, because my arm is simply rotating at the same amount as my body. The arm position here is the same as the arm position here. So the perspective of the arm is that it's not rotating relative to torso rotation. So here's the thing. The problems occur is when this relationship changes, when this rotates differently than this. Mo didn't feel rotation in a swing. That was the whole secret to this. He, he'd always say, it feels like a pendulum. What's it close to a perfect swing? Pendulum, look. Look at the club face. Can't get offline if it wants to. Look. Feels like a pendulum, because he felt like it was up and it was down. <laughs> so it's all about perspective on whether something is rotating or not. This is why people say, okay, how do you keep the club square? We'll see if I go like this and I go like this, that club is square to the rotation of my torso. So in other words, I, that club is dead square, even though it's open to the target line. So it's all about perspective. I try to teach the motion of it so we get this moving correctly. Because here's the thing, if I rotate my torso correctly and then back, see how the club squares up every time. It's, if I get good at this, it squares up. But if I'm messing around with this lead arm at some rotation, it's very hard to re recreate this relationship of club face to body. So it's all about perspective. I do not feel this arm rotate in my swing. So now let's talk about how it works throughout the swing and we'll talk about how it relates to hand action. So now I have this lead arm, right? So the lead arm, remember the trail hand is already in a rotation because of my tilt. So my trail hand is in non-rotational movement. See that? Non-rotational, okay? So now this is non-rotational to this. So now you're starting to see some interesting perspective on this is that I don't have any rotation of my arms because of the body rotation. Watch this. So now I rotate and my arm rotates to the same relationship. So this didn't rotate, my torso did. And now this arm's moving up and down, it's not rotating. So I get this, an up and down motion. And all I care about is the rotation of my torso. So it feels from my tilt, feels up and then down to strike a golf ball. Now, watch this. If I didn't have torso rotation, so I didn't have torso, so this didn't move, here's what my swing would look like. That's what it would look like. Now I'm gonna add rotation. And by the way, that puts the club exactly on plane in the backswing. I know it's kind of a, a different perspective and it's a different look at the mechanics of the swing. So let me go ahead and hit a shot here. And once again, I'm rotating, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing this motion with a rotation of my body from a single plane. And it's non-rotational. See what I'm saying? This is rotating. My arms are going back and down. That's the perspective of Mo Norman. And that's the non-rotational perspective of the single plane swing.